Why is it so GD hard to make friends? Sadly, this has to do with systemic exploitation. So one of the things that the creation of the nuclear family has done is essentially create cubicles of life. We have little tiny cubicles of existence with little singular families that cannot possibly keep up with all of the work that must be done to maintain a family. In previous eras, the work of washing and cooking and doing all of these kind of maintenance skills was done collectively. It was done in groups. It was done with groups of people who would join together and do all of their laundry, do all of their things. But we have broken this into tiny individualistic responsibilities and cubicles. And so you have these work responsibilities and you have these home responsibilities. And there's not much in between those other than paying for some kind of public activity, paying to go to a restaurant, paying to go to the movies, paying to go to an event, paying for anything you do in public. There's not just places most of the time for people to gather. Even if you do want to have a gathering in many places, you're going to have to pay for it and do a decent number of things, even get permits to be there, even with something like a public park if you have a large gathering of people. So we have commodified everything in our lives to the point where we can't make friends. It has to be a chance encounter in something that's a transactional engagement, somebody who works someplace, somebody who runs into somebody and happens to have a conversation. But we've even demonized that to the point where nobody wants to be talked to in public. No, don't. That's inappropriate. That's socially weird to talk to a new person. And so we've created further and further social rules to isolate us. And so the only time we can make friends is in these weird in-between places or in work where there's a lot of risk to our professional uh, oversight, right? Because those are high control in a capitalistic society. So we have to look at this and recognize this creation of, of this little personalized single family cubicle has created a situation where nobody is willing to let people into that space because they fundamentally can't keep it up. They can't keep the clean house and the work and have enough money to go do the events and do everything else. It's very rare. And so we've developed this sense of shame that keeps us even further isolated because we don't want to invite people in because it's seen as shameful to do chores in front of someone else. It's shameful to not have the house already ready for them. It's shameful to do mundane tasks like go grocery shopping with your friends because we have decided that even being a friend with somebody is something that's transactional and performative because of the exploitation and expectation.